Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can create a clickable hyperlink in an Excel table using Microsoft Flow. So for this demo, I've got a pretty simple flow set up. So we've got a manual trigger with an input and we're gonna put in a folder name here. And then in our next step, we're gonna create a new folder in SharePoint based on that folder name input. And once we create our new folder, we're going to add that folder name into an Excel table and also add a hyperlink to that folder. So we've actually got some dynamic content from our create new folder step. So we have this link to item dynamic content and that's actually gonna be the URL that will open up our uh, SharePoint folder. So let's go ahead and test this out. And and let's maybe call this testing. So we're going to create a folder called testing and let's run that. And so that ran successfully. And if we head over to our spreadsheet, we can see a row in our table. So we have testing here. And then we also have the URL for that folder in SharePoint. And notice that this isn't clickable. So if I click on this, then my folder doesn't open up for me. So I can turn this into a clickable URL if I press F2 on my keyboard to go into edit mode and then just press enter again, then Excel is gonna turn that into a clickable URL. And now if I click on this, then that opens up my folder in SharePoint. And now we're gonna take a look at how we can set our flow up so that this is just automatically a clickable link and we don't need to press F2 and then press enter to turn it into a clickable link. So if we just head back to Excel for a second here, let's grab this URL. And if we just come outside our table, if we use a hyperlink function in Excel, so the hyperlink function allows us to create a clickable link. So we just need to give it the link location. So that's gonna be our SharePoint folder URL. And then we also have an optional argument here to give it a friendly name. So if we don't want the thing that we click to be this full URL, then we can add something like click to open. And if we press enter, then we get a clickable URL with that friendly name of click to open. And if we click on that, that's also gonna open up our SharePoint folder. So here's our folder again. And it actually turns out that you can create an Excel function in a flow expression. And when you add that into your table, it's actually going to evaluate as a formula. So we're gonna use that fact and the hyperlink to create a clickable link in Flow. And let's head back to Flow. And let's edit this. And what we're gonna do is edit this hyperlink in here. And we're gonna create an expression in there. And here's our link to item. And let's just copy that. And what we're gonna do is use the concatenate function to build a hyperlink Excel function. So the cat concat function is just gonna allow us to concatenate bits of string together in flow. And so the first bit of string that we're going to concatenate together is going to be equals hyperlink and a bracket and also a double quote. So that was the first part of our Excel formula. So here we've got the first part of our Excel formula and those are in single quotes for flow. So that means that this is just a piece of text. And then we're gonna concatenate that with the link 
from our linked item, dynamic content. And let's go to the end of this. And then we're also going to add our friendly name argument from our Excel function. And I'm just going to copy this and press OK. And let's just check and make sure that our formula looks OK. So we've got this concatenate function and we're concatenating something, a piece of text that's basically the first part of our Excel function. And then we're concatenating that with the SharePoint folder URL. And then we're concatenating that with the last part of our hyperlink function from Excel. So this is the argument for the friendly name in our clickable URL. And let's just save this and let's test it out now. So let's call this one testing one, two, three. And let's run that. And let's head over to our Excel spreadsheet. And here we go. So here we've got our hyperlink function and here's the URL to our newly created SharePoint folder. And if we click on that, that's gonna take us to our SharePoint folder. So there you go. That's how you can create a clickable hyperlink in an Excel table using Microsoft Flow. So it turns out what we need to do is build out a hyperlink Excel function in Flow, and then that's going to properly evaluate in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.